this is the quick review of pharmacology so let's get started general pharmacology microsomal enzyme inducers are phenytoin phenobarbitone rifampicin ritonavir next is first pass effect or first pass elimination first pass metabolism metabolism of drug in liver intestinal wall or portal blood plus excretion of drug into bile is known as first pass elimination first pass metabolism is seen with oral route and rectal route drug showing high first pass metabolism are lignocaine ranolol and salbutamol next is half life time taken for amount of drug in the body to decline by 50% is known as half life amount of drug excreted in fourth half life is 93.7% half life can determine elimination time steady state plasma concentration dosing rate and maintenance dose next is zero order reaction it means constant amount is excreted rate of elimination independent of plasma concentration variable half life phenytoin ethanol and salicylates first order reaction it is constant fraction of drug is eliminated rate of elimination is directly dependent on plasma concentration half life is constant next clinical trials phases phase 1 human pharmacology and safety phase 2 therapeutic exploration and dose ranging determines efficacy phase 3 therapeutic confirming phase 4 post marketing surveillance no ethical clearance required good clinical practice is not required for pre clinical trials but is needed for phase 1 to 4 next is teratogenic drugs carbamazepine causes cleft lip and cleft palate valproic acid causes neural tube defects thalidomide cause focomelia chloramphenicol cause gray baby syndrome next is cholinergic system general facts are acetylcholine release is inhibited by botulinum acetylcholine use is not possible because it is rapidly degraded acetylcholinesterase inhibitors adorafenum diagnosis of myasthenia gravis neostigmine or pyridostigmine treatment of urinary retention ileus reversal of neuromuscular blockage next is organophosphate poisoning pupils in organophosphate poisoning cause pinpoint pupils treatment of organophosphate poisoning atropin and pallidoxim it reactivates cholinesterase next is adrenergic system alpha 1 agonist drugs are phenylephrine and methoxamine next alpha 2 agonist drugs are clonidine methyl dopa beta 1 agonist isopropanol dobutamine beta 2 agonist drugs are salmetrol terbutalin and ritrodrin alpha 1 blockers drugs are prazosin tamsulosin next is alpha 2 blockers drugs are yohimbin and mirtazapine mirtazapine is anti depressant drug next is beta 1 blocker it includes asabutalol atinolol metoxolol bisoprolol ismolol and metoprolol next group of drug beta 1 and beta 2 blocker it includes divilol labetalol carvedilol carvedilol is alpha 1 beta 1 beta 2 blocker next is timolol mainly used for glaucoma myosis it can precipitate asthma contraindicated in asthma and heart block next drug is ismolol it is cardio selective drug no intrinsic activity shortest acting beta blocker 10 minutes next group of drug nasaids non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs aspirin inhibits cox inhibitor irreversible selective cox2 inhibitor they lack anti platelet actions coxib like lumiracoxib valdelacoxib preferential cox2 inhibitors it includes nimoslide nambutron nasaids with good tissue penetration is cutorolac 
nasate with good concentration in synovial fluid is diclofenac drug used in acetaminophen toxicity is an acetyl cysteine next drug is thiazides mechanism of action of thiazides it inhibits sodium chloride transport in distal convoluted tubule side effects of thiazides are hyperglycemia hypercalcemia thiazides includes drugs like chlorothiazide and dapamide thiazides are used in the treatment of hypercalciuria but they themselves cause hypercalcemia and renal calculi next is loop diuretics mechanism of action of loop high ceiling diuretics it includes furosemide ethacrylic acid loop diuretics inhibit sodium potassium and chloride transporter on thick ascending limb of loop of henle furosemide is sulfomyl derivative uses of furosemide uses of furosemide drug of choice for acute hypercalcemia acute pulmonary edema along with morphine side effects of furosemide hyperuricemia hypocalcemia hyperlipidemia main side effect of ethacrylic acid is autotoxicity next group of drug is potassium sparing diuretics it includes spironolactone triamatrin potassium sparing diuretics acts on distal tubule and collecting duct spironolactone antagonizes the sodium retaining effect of aldosterone active metabolite of spironolactone is canidronone side effects of spironolactone includes fatal hyperkalemia and gynecomastia next drug is bigunite effect of metformin bigunite on glucose metabolism it increased glycolysis and decreased gluconeogenesis feared complication of metformin is lactic acidosis metformin is contraindicated in renal failure special feature of metformin it does not cause weight gain so particularly used in obesity obesity is not a contraindication of metformin next group of drug is alpha glucosidase inhibitor mechanism of action of acarbose and miglitol it decreases progression of impaired glucose tolerance to over disease reduces fibrinogen level also special feature of acarbose and miglitol they are euglycemics they does not cause hypoglycemia next is insulin half life of insulin is 5 minutes effect of insulin on potassium it promotes entry of potassium into the cell difference between human and pork insulin human insulin differs from pork insulin by one amino acid humulin is human insulin next group of drug is corticoids maximum mineral corticoid activity is shown by aldosterone maximum glucocorticoid activity is shown by dexamethasone androgen receptor blocker is ciprotirone anti androgen drug is clomiphene mechanism of action of tamoxifen it is oral selective estrogen receptor modulator it decreases fsh agents used for breast cancer tamoxifen azemastine and latrazole side effects of danazole are acne weight loss and occasionally hot flushes next is theophylline mechanism of action of theophylline and doxophylline it inhibits phosphodiesterase 4 increase cyclic amp concentration blocks adenosine receptors beta 2 agonist and stimulator of mucociliary movement factors decreasing theophylline levels are smoking and microsomal enzyme inducers factors which increase plasma level of theophylline it includes erythromycin ciprofloxacin and cimetidin next drug is montelukast mechanism of action of montelukast leukotriene receptor antagonist ltra cis lt1 antagonist it blocks action of leukotriene d4 on the cystenyl leukotriene receptor in the lungs uses of montelukast 
यूज इन मेंटेनेंस थेरेपी ऑफ अस्थमा रिलीफ ऑफ सीजनल एलर्जीज एंड नॉट यूजफुल इन एक्यूट अटैक्स नेक्स्ट ग्रुप ऑफ ड्रग स्टीरोड्स स्टीरोड्स इन अस्थमा नो रोल इन एक्यूट अटैक्स स्टेटस अस्थमेटिकस एक्ट्स बाय एंटी इन्फ्लामेटरी इट रिड्यूसेस एयर वे इन्फ्लामेशन इनक्रीजेस लिपोकॉटिन लेवल्स ब्लॉक्स फॉस्फोलिपिड ब्रेकडाउन कॉमन यूज्ड स्टीरोड्स इन अस्थमा आर ब्यूडेसोनाइट फ्लूटिकोनासोन एंड ट्राईमीसिनोलॉन साइड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ इनहेल्ड स्टीरोड्स आर ओरोफेरेंजल कैंडिडिएस साइड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ टॉपिकल स्टीरोड्स इज ग्लूकोमा साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ पैरेंटल स्टीरोड्स पोस्टीरियर सब कैप्सुल कैटरेक्ट मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ सोडियम क्रोमोग्लाइकेट यूज फॉर प्रोफाइलेक्सिस इट इज अ इनहिबिटर ऑफ मास्ट सेल डिग्रेनुलेशन जैफिर ल्यूकास्ट एल टी आर ए इज टेकन वंस डेली जायलूटोन इनहिबिट्स फाइव लिपोक्सीजिनेस एंटीकोलिनर्जिक प्रोंकोडाइलेटर्स आर इप्राट्रोपियम एंड टायोट्रोपियम